Hey guys, welcome to the UF Disciple channel. Today, what we're gonna go ahead and do is take a look at how to set up a power line adapter network in your house and also how to extend your Wi-Fi using a power line adapter. So let's get started with that. So before we get started with the actual installation of the power line modules themselves, let's talk a little bit about what a power line network does. A power line network serves to send internet signal through your house's current electrical system, hence why it's called a power line network. It uses your house's power lines to send the internet signal. So the reasons why this would be useful is let's say you have your modem or your router in a certain part of your house. For me, it's upstairs. But however, I do a lot of my media consumption downstairs. I stream movies, I play video games using Steam in-home streaming, and I have all of that set up downstairs. However, I have no um, current ethernet set up in my house where I can get a good, reliable ethernet signal downstairs. I'm typically re relying on Wi-Fi, and if anybody ever turns on the microwave, my connection shot and I have lag, I have slow connection, it's terrible. So a power line network sends the internet signal through my house's power line and I'm able to go downstairs and get an ethernet signal downstairs and so I can stream movies at 1080p, I can stream my video games with no lag whatsoever. Uh, so that's very useful. But it's also useful in the cases where you say you have your modem or your router in part of your house and you have to be hardwired to the network for your job. I know I've worked at certain places online where they required you to have a hard line network and the only way that I could achieve that is either by running a 60 foot ethernet cable from my modem or I could use the power line adapter to hook it up to the internet that way. So for the installation today, we're going to be using the sending unit of the TP-Link TLPA4010 uh, sending unit and then for the receiving unit we're going to be using the TP-Link TLWPA4220 and this is a WPA which means it's a wireless power line adapter so not only does this power line adapter give me two Ethernet ports it's also going to give me a uh, Wi-Fi signal boosting because I have certain places in my house downstairs that don't get the Wi-Fi signal from upstairs so this is going to serve both in to get in getting me a good hardline network so I can stream my games downstairs, but it's also going to extend the Wi-Fi throughout the house. Okay, so for the first step of installing the power line, what you're going to want to go ahead and do is make sure you have your modem or your router handy. And I realize this isn't plugged in. My modem is actually over there, and I'm not going to go get it. So this is just a spare router that I have just for example purposes. Then you're also going to need your power line sending unit. So the for me, it's just the one with the single Ethernet port. Um, and in case my power plugs look weird, it's because I'm currently living in South Africa and they have a weird system where in order to even get it into the wall, if it has two, two prongs, you have to have an adapter to put it with the ground unit. So... It works the same if you're in the States or anywhere else. It just sends it over the power line regardless. This is just how I have to do it since I'm in South Africa. So first step is obviously make sure this, your modem or router is installed or plugged in rather. Um, and then go ahead and plug in your, your sending or receiving unit for the power line adapter. Then take the ethernet cable that you have and plug it into the output of your modem or router. And then take the other end and put it in the ethernet, the power line adapter port. The ethernet port on the power line adapter is what I meant to say, and that's exactly what I did. So that's the first step, you're all set up there. So let's go head downstairs and set up the other unit. Okay guys, so step two for installing the power line network is set, uh, setting up your receiving unit. So again, South African power stuff, really strange, but same general principle, plug it in, um, and then you should have power. Got some green blinking lights, which are helpful. Then you take the ethernet and you select one of the two ethernet ports at the bottom, plug it in, there we go. And then take the other end of the ethernet and you can stick it into the ethernet port on your computer. And hopefully we should have a complete setup ethernet network going on. Let me turn off the Wi-Fi so I can see that it's going on. Okay guys, so as you can clearly see, it was a success. We have the Ethernet port lined up on the, the laptop, so we are fully connected to the Internet at this point.
So now that we have the power line adapter set up for the ethernet signal, let's go ahead and set up the receiving unit for its wireless range extending. The solution for this is very simple. Firstly, all you have to do is you have to go to your router or your modem and you have to find the WPS button. And once you find the WPS button, hold it in for about two to five seconds. Let go of that and on my router, at least, you can see that there is a light illuminating letting me know that WPS is active. So. Once you have clicked the WPS button on your router, you're then going to head to your, your power line adapter, the wireless one, and then you're gonna hold down the Wi-Fi button for about two to five seconds as well. Now the light might turn off, it might turn on, whatever. Uh, mine happens to turn off and then um, it comes back on after a little while, letting me know that the Wi-Fi signal was cloned and that I can now have wireless range extending from that unit. So a very simple solution, very quick, very easy not at all difficult to do both with setting up the ethernet as well as the wi-fi okay that's it for today's video guys hopefully you learned how to set up the power line adapter system and that it was easy for you if you liked this video and you thought it was helpful give it a thumbs up but if you thought it was terrible dislike it but please leave a comment down below letting me know why it was poor um, i like the feedback even if it's negative so i can work on my future videos speaking of future videos i have releases every monday and thursday so stay tuned subscribe for that down below if you'd like to stay subscribed to my channel as well as you can purchase the power line extenders or other things using my amazon affiliate code down in the video description so thanks for watching and i'll see you again on the next video yo Check it, we can, we can, check it, check it, check it, we can, we can, check it, gonna talk about the power line range extenders, gonna send power line signals to my house using ethernet, what, what, using ethernet, yeah, gonna send a power line adapter through the house, gonna get signal downstairs with ethernet, then I'm gonna be able to play my video games without all that light from the microwave.